Oh, thanks, Ian. Arthur always loved flowers on his birthday. No, no. no um, I hope I haven't interrupted anything. No, no, no. Save me more like just going through some paperwork from the bank. Oh, anything interesting? I can't make head and a tail of it, to be honest. Well, what's it for? Well, we accepted an out-of-court settlement with the Home Office. All oh, right. Well, um, I hope you got a good deal. Well, I won't bring Arthur back, but... Uh, well, that's not bad. Mm. I've given some to Mark and Ruth, and I've set up a trust fund for Martin. But as for the rest of it, well, I really haven't a clue. Well, if you want any advice or anything, you know where I am. Thanks. <laughs> you know, Mark forgot his own dad's birthday. I knew you wouldn't. Even when you were little, you were always one for the family. You were always looking after Michelle. Yeah. Doesn't seem like there's many of us left now. You had another child? How long are you knowing? Not long. I can't believe it. Came as a bit of a shock to me, too. Yeah. Well, so where is she now? Well, I don't know. I mean, I didn't hold out much hope. Mm. Then I had this letter from the adopted children's register. They think they found a connection, so they're going to send my details on. Oh, right. Uh, so what's next? I don't know. I just have to hope and, and, and wait. I mean, it's up to her now. I can't believe Gran never said anything. And, and this was before she was married? Yeah. No idea who the father was. I always thought we were such a close family. Yeah, well, we are. That's why it's important that we find her. <laughs>